What are the best sites on the web? We all know the big hitters. Google isn't exactly a new kid on the block, and at this point, Facebook isn't either. We all know YouTube, Wikipedia, Blogger, Twitter, Amazon, eBay, Bing, Blogs, and of course, top 10 reviews. But with almost literally countless sites out there, aren't there other things on the web that could be useful or fun or interesting? There are, and lucky for you, we've listed our top 10 great sites you should know about. Number 10 on the list, Pandora. It's a streaming music site that generates a channel customized to your musical tastes. You tell Pandora what artists or specific songs you like, and it'll line up an infinite playlist that you fine-tune along the way. And when you're on the go, tune in to your channels on your smartphone, too. Number nine, if you're somebody who likes homemade goods, you'll want to check out Etsy. You can open up your own shop selling whatever cottage industry items you can produce. Or you can look around and see what creative minds around you have come up with. You can even shop local from knitters, designers, crafters, painters, and any other creative apparel or knickknack makers in your area. Number eight, if you're a professional, you'll want to check out LinkedIn like yesterday. It's the place to connect for professionals of all backgrounds. Whether you want to be seen and hired, or if you're looking for just the right person for a project or position, LinkedIn can help. If you're done with work and you just want to kick back and relax to your favorite episode of that show you love, check out our number seven site, Hulu. It's a collaboration between NBC, ABC, and Fox to bring you your favorite TV, old and new, streaming to your computer. See clips, outtakes, full episodes, or even full movies. The catalog is constantly growing. When you're ready to get out in the world again and actually interact with people, try the number six site, meetup.com. With Meetup, you can find and, well, meet up with communities in your area. Maybe you're looking for softball for seniors or amateur acting poetry writing, landscape painting, wine tasting, whatever it is, you can probably find the group or start the group on Meetup. Number five, if the community you're looking to connect with is more spread out, then take a look at Ning. Ning lets you create your own network using the tools that are important to you on just the topic you're interested in. It's social networking with a focus, and you decide what the focus is. Whether it's a cause you feel strongly about, a band you just love, a genre, language, field of research, anything you're passionate about, Ning will help you organize and communicate with everyone else who feels as strongly about it as you do. You can set it all up in under a minute. Back to relaxing, maybe you just want to play some games, some casual diversion. That takes us to our number four site, Zynga. Even if you haven't heard of Zynga before, you're probably familiar with some of their games. They're the people behind Farmville and Mafia Wars on Facebook. If you've been on Facebook, there's a good chance you've been invited to play. Zynga has more to offer than just those two titles, and there are a lot to choose from. You can play through Facebook, MySpace, or on your iPhone. Okay, back to work now. For our number three site, if you're collaborating on a small team over an important project, take a look at Basecamp. Basecamp is a cloud-based project management tool set. That may sound technical, but what it boils down to is this. Basecamp may be the easiest way for you and your team to meet, collaborate, communicate, and make progress regardless of where you are in the world. You can know who is doing what, when it will be done, and what to do next. It's great for any small team of dedicated people, especially small to medium-sized businesses. For our number two site, try Spreadshirt. If you've ever wanted to print anything on a t-shirt or other clothes, but didn't know how, here's your chance. There are a lot of t-shirt sites out there, but only a few let you play designer and fewer still that let you design and print whatever you want. I've used Spreadshirt myself a few times, designing shirts for friends. But what's better is how Spreadshirt lets you set up a shop as a t-shirt seller. If you design something that people like, put it in the Spreadshirt marketplace and name your commission. I did a design in an afternoon that earned me almost $100 in commission over the next couple months. Creativity for fun and profit. And it's easy. And when you want to remember all the fun, hard work, friends, and community, check out Hot Prints. Our number one site, Hot Prints, will print and send straight to your door customized photo albums up to four a month for the low, one-time, easy fee of, are you ready for this? Zero dollars and zero cents. They're free. Okay, they're not entirely free. You do pay for shipping. But just think, for a couple bucks, you can have a memory book, a dead tree paper book of your Facebook photo albums. That'll be a lot easier to hand down to the grandkids or even share with the grandparents. So there you go. Those are our top picks for sites to check out in addition to top 10 reviews, of course. But what are your favorites? What are your best kept secret spots? Let us know in the comments. I'm Austin with Top 10 Reviews, where we do the research so you don't have to.